Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a January favorites. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Kayla. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it to get notified anytime I make new videos so that you can join the fam and whatnot. So today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my favorite beauty products for this month. It's not a really big selection because I've been using a lot of the same things, but there are a couple new things that I'm really excited to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm literally just going to grab things I don't really have in order or anything. So the first thing that I grabbed is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation, which I have mentioned many times. You guys have seen it, me use it, but I am so excited because I just got a whole brand new one. The one I had before, I had hit pan and it was ridiculous. And I don't even know how I even used it because there was like barely any in there. But I'm really obsessed with this because it's something that gives me like a really flawless finish and it doesn't make it look too cakey. Now if you do put on like a heavy hand with this, then it will look, you know, a little much. But if you use just the right amount, I like to just kind of swirl it a little bit, tap off the excess and just kind of apply it on the face. And then I try to use one um, swirl for the whole face and then I will use a different like a second swirl or like half of a swirl for my neck area to blend it all out but I just really like it because it feels really effortless on the face it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything and I'm in the color NW45 in case you you know need a comparison or whatnot of what color you can get but I do recommend going to MAC and just kind of having them um like I almost said size you but it's not a size match you with a skin color so that or skin tone I can't even talk. Match you with a shade so that you can get it as close to your skin tone as possible. I don't know why it was so hard for me to say that. It was really not um, that serious. So the next thing I have is actually a teeth whitening system. Rocky Mountain Essentials. The Tuxedo um, Teeth Whitening and Detoxifier. So it's basically this charcoal powder which I will show you guys how I use it. It's actually really cool. It's one of those like black powders that you guys see all the time and I was actually sent this product. I'm not going to lie to you guys or try to hide that but I would never show you guys any products that I don't um, think is worth the money. So I will... The only reason why I'm showing you guys is because I really believe in this product and think that it's really good for your teeth. So not only does it whiten your teeth, it also detoxifies it, it um, eliminates sensitivity, and it just helps to strengthen your teeth. So it just basically whitens your teeth, cleans and detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, and strengthens your enamel like I said. So what I really like about this product is that it's super easy to use. All you do is just dip your wet toothbrush into it, just the tips, or just like the you know, bottom layer of the bristles, and you don't have to use a lot because a, lo a lot, or no, a little goes a long way, and then you just, you know, tap off all the excess. I'll insert a video of me brushing my teeth, th teeth with it because it's really cool. It just makes your teeth look all black, but I really, what I really like about it is not only does it whiten your teeth, and I'll show like a before and after of my results. I've only been using it for a little under a month, so um, my teeth will get even whiter than um, what it has before which is really exciting. I use it twice a day and then you just kind of brush your teeth after with regular toothpaste to just kind of um, get the rest of the black charcoal material off. And what I really like about it is that you are able to um, not only whiten your teeth but help it, help them make them more healthy. My teeth just feel a lot healthier if that makes sense. They feel um, cleaner and just feels like I really got to clean it well. I don't know if that makes, if that's making any sense, but basically I really enjoy this product and I definitely think it's worth the money. I will have links down below and where you can get it. It's not that expensive, which is really nice and I'm really glad that I was able to use it. So the next product is something that I just recently got. It was also in, um, I think I featured it in a video. Um, it is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and it just comes with these gorgeous gorgeous shadows. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Seen them before but if not here they are or if you have seen them here they are again. They are absolutely gorgeous colors just very buttery and just Anastasia really snapped with this product like it is definitely worth the $48 and I just think that 
it'll definitely go with a lot of different looks. I'm going to be featuring it in a lot of different things, my Valentine's Day makeup looks and everything. So just get ready to see this a lot because um, I'm obsessed with it. I'm really mad at myself for taking this long to get it, but I'm really glad that I do have it. So the next two products are actually lip products. One of them I have on my lips right now. It is the Lip Lingerie from Tarte. And this is in the color, I just forgot what the color is, in the color Pure. So here it is. It just rolls up like so. It's a really pretty pink color. And it just goes on really smooth on your lips. It doesn't dry them out or anything. And it just feels really moisturizing, which I really like. And it's a really pretty color. The next thing I have is from Velvet 59 by Paris Manning. It is the color Kalea, Kalea, something like that. I don't know. I'm really bad with names. But it just has this dual applicator. Um, and this is the color. It's a nice, like, mauve pink, which I really like. And this is another color that goes on matte, and it doesn't feel drying or anything. And it's really nice and looks good on a lot of different people. And my last product is from Laura Geller. You guys have seen me use it before, but I'm actually um, in love with it. It's the Gilded Honey Highlighter. It is really nice. It's just this really nice iridescent gold, golden honey color, like Gilded Honey, like it says. It's a very buttery, and it just, you know, goes on like a dream. It's really nice and looks good on everyone, which is really nice. So... It was definitely worth, I think it was like $20 or so, definitely worth the money. It will last a long time. I've been using this for months, and I haven't even, I barely, I feel like I've barely hit the surface, so um, it's definitely a nice investment. So that is it for my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. This year, I really want to focus on, like, positive things, like being optimistic and just, like, being able to uh, speak things into existence. I'm really into, or really a big believer of, like, 